As fall makes its way here, you may notice produce at your local farmer's market shifts. One of the items that stands out is squash. Mary Jo is on Madison's east side with a few recipes to try this season. Good morning, Dina and Charlotte. We're here at Willie Street East cooking up a few squash recipes this season. And with me this morning is Angelica Matthews. She is the kitchen manager for Willie Street. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, so today, at least at this point, it's grain-free chicken squash curry. Yes. Right, I got all those words out. <laughs> okay, so where do we start? We're going to start here by sauteing some onions and peppers in some olive oil. Um, I have about one medium to large size onion in there, mm -hmm. and about one medium red pepper, and one medium green sized pepper, just diced. I'll get all my lovely bits in there. And then you can kind of measure out or feel based the amount. On, yeah, based on how many people you're feeding. This is probably going to feed about six people mm -hmm. when we're done with it. And this is a dish that you guys actually offer here at Willie's Street. It is. It is can... It's one of our popular um, hot case dishes. Mm -hmm. um, we did a kind of a section of our catalog on grain-free eating, which is kind of a trend on paleo eating. Um, and so this was one of the recipes we came up with, and it was a huge hit. And so I'm proud to bring it back this fall. Um, we bring it back when squash is in season. So mm -hmm. it's a great addition to our menu. Um, so once the onions and peppers are done sauteing, from here I would add in my chicken. And there's about one pound of chicken in here or about four chicken thighs that I cut up. I'm going to allow that to saute. I'm probably going to turn my heat up just a little bit more. That started to smell really good. Yeah. <laughs> Never go wrong with peppers and onions mm -hmm. and meat. Now, I know we just have a few moments left, mm -hmm. but once you get that cooking, yep. they're going to throw in. I'm going to add in, stuff. actually, once the chicken is brown just a little bit, I'm going to add in my garlic and ginger. Allow that to saute for maybe another 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. This is cubed butternut squash that has already been pre-steamed, which you can easily do on the stovetop. Mm -hmm. This is curry powder and salt together. I'm going to add that in, and then coconut milk. Ooh, and okay. from here, it's just literally going to simmer on the stove and then bake in the oven until it's complete. Mm -hmm. And I know so. we just have a few seconds here, yeah. but I want to make sure people see what the finished product sure. looks like. So. so while you take that out, I'll let our viewers at home know that you can find this dish at Willie Street Co-op. They have two locations, yeah. one on the east side, which is the one we're at here on 1221 Williamson Street. And there's one on the west side at 6825 University Avenue. And we'll come back out live here to Angelica as she's prepping our finished grain-free yeah. chicken squash curry. Wow. <laughs> and then I'm just that serving this amazing. over a bed of bas basmati white rice. Uh, and that's going to go by really go. fast this yeah. morning. Yeah, going to garnish it with a little chopped cilantro, and we're done. Angelica, uh, okay. thank you so much. Yes, thank wow. you. Breakfast is served. Bring, it, bring <laughs> some on back here. I'm not a squash person, but that looks good. Oh, you'll be a squash yeah. person now. It smells that's fantastic. A, you'll like become a squash person. <laughs> that looks gorgeous. Thank you very well, much. Like, yeah. As the seasons change, so do certain foods. Squash is one that becomes quite the star when it comes to fall produce. Certainly does. And Mary Jo is on Madison's east side with a few ideas. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Charlotte and Dina. We're here at Willie Street East cooking up a few squash recipes for this fall season. And with me this morning is Angelica Matthews. She is the kitchen manager for Willie Street Co-op. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, so the grain-free chicken squash curry was mm -hmm. delicious. Thank and you. I know you have a soup for us. I do. So what are we making? We are making the curried squash soup. So we're on kind of a squash and curried theme. <laughs> so I'm going to add in some onions to my pan here. This is probably about two large onions. I'm going to saute that up. Throw this in really quick. Mm. So once my onions have gotten um, translucent and tender, I'm going to add in my ginger and my garlic. This is about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of each. You could always add in more garlic if you like it overly garlic, or if you um, want more ginger, you can add more ginger too. And we were talking earlier just during the break about how when you're trying something out, maybe going at a little bit at a time yes. as far as ingredients so you can kind of really... Yes, definitely. Um, or and your seasonings as well. You can always add more. Um, you can never take it out. So you definitely want to watch your salt content or sugar content depending on what you're making. You're going to have about two large butternut squashes that are prepped, cleaned, and steamed. So these are already tender. 
ready to use. Now, how did you uh, prepare your squash? Is it peeling and? Yep, so a couple different ways. Um, I cut off both ends and then I peel with just a regular peeler on both sides. It gets a little tight right here in the curvature, but after that, then I usually cut off this section because the seeds are all in the base part here. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll cut the, the base open and then just deseed it. I find a melon baller works the best. Okay. Or a regular spoon. You just want something that's um, strong so you're going to have good leverage on. Um, and then you could throw the seeds out. You could clean them and toast them up and just eat squash seeds just like pumpkin <laughs> seeds. Um, so we got our squash in here. I'm going to add in about, this is about four cups of water. Um, I would have added in about two more. Mm -hmm. Got some coconut milk here, probably around a good another three cups of that, four cups of that. Then I have about, I'm going to only add in about half of this. This is apple juice. Um, you could, like I said, you can always add more. Okay. And then I actually have some apples that are soaking in lemon water so they don't oxidize on me. I'm going to add those in as well. Now we just have a few seconds mm -hmm. left, but I don't want to rush you too much. What sure. else are you throwing in there as far as seasoning? Lime juice and seasonings. We have curry powder, mustard powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, white pepper, salt, uh, and sage. So I'm throwing all of that in. Okay. And then once this is done simmering and everything is tender, I would stick blender or use a stick And that'll blender. help mash it up and make and it soupy. Help. Yep, that'll help make it smooth. Angelica, thank you so You're much welcome. for doing all this. We appreciate it and it smells fantastic. Thank you. Right, you can find these dishes at Willie Street Co-op either on the east side or west side. That information right there on your screen. Charlotte and Dina, we're going to warm up with uh, some curried squash soup here though before we head on back. Oh, Yum. are we envious. Very nice. Thank We're you. We're leaving, coming right over. <laughs> Thanks, Mary Jo.